Seventy-five years ago, the USS Macon, a 785-foot U.S. Navy dirigible, was lost offshore of Point Sur, California. The airship was intended to serve as a scout ship for the Pacific Fleet and had the ability to launch and recover biplanes. But on February 12, 1935, after less than two years of service, the ship was damaged in a storm and dropped tail-first into the chilly waters of the Pacific. All but two of the Macon's 83 crewmen were rescued. The wreckage of the Macon and four aircraft now lie at a depth of more than 1,500 feet within the boundaries of the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. On February 12, 2010, in commemoration of the 75th anniversary of the loss of the airship, the wreck site was added to the National Register of Historic Places. The wreck site includes the airship's hangar bay, containing its four Sparrowhawk biplanes and their detached landing gear. Five of the Macon's eight engines have been identified, along with objects from the ship's galley, including two sections of the aluminum stove and the enlisted men's dining table and bench. Aluminum chairs and desks that may have been in a portside officer's or meteorologist's office have also been found. The National Register of Historic Places is the nation's official list of cultural places considered worth preserving. The remains of the Macon provide an opportunity to study the relatively undisturbed remnants of a unique period of aviation history. The Macon's remains represent the only archaeologically documented example of such an aircraft in the U.S. and possibly the world. <laughs>